Coming in at 2.6 kilos, this TRX is a real lightweight, including the battery, all the electronics that I need to drive wheels. So let me show you what I've done with it. I have obviously the carbon fiber chassis, which was from AliExpress, link in the description down below. And would I recommend it? It was um, a little bit of a hassle to put in. The shock towers didn't really fit and I had to trim down the chassis. The brace here was a little bit too wide, so I had to make it smaller. Gearbox fitted perfectly. Same as with the bumper mount, I had to make it smaller. Servo mount, same. Shock towers in the front didn't really fit. And uh, it was a little bit of a hassle to make it fit. Because I changed all the, because the sizes are a little bit different, I didn't came out with the original screws and I had to change it. Luckily, I have a lot of screws so I can take whatever I want. But uh, would I recommend it? Mm, maybe not an AliExpress uh, carbon fiber chassis for 22 euros. Maybe buy a little bit uh, more expensive so that it fit out of the box. Because now, if I want to change back to the original steel chassis, it will not fit because I have changed all the parts, also the sideboards, I had to trim it down. There was this little piece here that I had to take off and here, because the chassis is straight and not bent like the original chassis, it didn't fit. But if you are into changing your car, not have it stock, and you like to uh, fiddle around with the parts, then this is the way to go. I will make a few more adjustments to my battery box because this one is like uh, not so straight. It can be a little bit closer to the gearbox, can be a little bit nicer. This one was done very quickly by hand. And as you can see, the shift servo it still works, it still works. but it is very close to the battery box. And uh, I want to make the battery box a little bit smaller, a little bit more lightweight, a little bit nicer, and then it will fit perfectly. I have upgraded to the Fusion, which is really nice. I mean, it is slow and really quiet. It saves a lot of space inside the car, not so much uh, a lot of weight. So I really wanted to drive without a receiver box. So I waterproofed my receiver and the plan was to stick it against the servo here, shorten all the wires for the, serv for the shift servo, steering servo, but also for the Fusion, because that one comes with around 20 centimeters of cable. It is new out of the box, and I was like, before changing all the cables, cutting it, let me check with the hobby shop if I still have warranty on it, if I cut the cables, and he told me no. Yeah, I made a uh, receiver box of myself. It's not the nicest one, but it will do. It has all the cables in there, uh, with a little bit of thin plastic and some hot glue, I made my homemade uh, receiver box, which fits next to the motor. I am thinking about a design to 3D print myself, but I didn't have time to 3D print this week. I still have some improvements in mind to make the TRX even more lightweight. There's a lot of bearings in there, and um, except for the bearings in the portal axles, I want to change all the bearings with 3D nylon printed bushings especially in the gearbox. That comes in around 140, 150 grams, including the servo, not including the motor. And I think there is also a option to switch to plastic gears inside the gearbox. Now they're all made of steel, which is nice, they don't break, but I want to check if I can get plastic ones, which saves a little bit more weight on top. I wanted to switch from steel to aluminium rods. That would have brought me around 100 grams of weight savings. But it turns out that making aluminium rods is pretty difficult, especially cutting the thread. The aluminium is quite soft, 
and when the tool which you use to cut the thread gets dirty then it is destroying the thread while you are cutting it and the other problem is is that i am not so experienced in cutting thread so there's a lot of more there's a lot more reasons in why it didn't work well i have been talking to a friend of mine and he came up with the idea of making carbon fiber rods and glue those into the rod ends into the ball joints I think that's a very good idea, so I will give that a try. Then there's the problem with the shocks. My shocks are never working properly. And I don't know if it is my... Yeah, you saw that. It was really stuck, now it goes. I don't know if it is the way how I fill it. So I have to check out how I can make the shocks work and function even better. And... Um, I have already downgraded or upgraded, however you want to call it, to springs with the lowest spring rate Traxxas provides. Because my TRX is so light, the shocks would not compress when driving because the springs were too stiff. I filled it with 100 weight with the lowest spring rate springs, but when the car is even lighter than before, I have to... Um, experience how it will drive and how it will uh, how it will behave and as you can see i also have these small shock extenders i like it i like my car to be a little bit higher in the center um, maybe in the future i will switch springs that are or shocks that are a little bit longer maybe 110 uh, millimeters maybe you have an idea of how to uh, adjust the shock absorbers uh, correctly but uh, I didn't do it correctly so that's a that's a thing for me uh, I'm not so uh, into these shock absorbers just give me big X-Max shock absorbers I fill it up and it works fine but with these nah, not my thing this one is ready to go for trailing I have fitted it with three LED bars because we are going to trail for around five to six hours. Hopefully ending when it is dark. So I'm going to use these bad boys. And I will take some tools, zip ties, program card, a spare servo because it has been raining all day. No, not all day. It has been raining all week. And hopefully we have a little bit of mud, some water so I can get it really dirty and uh, they say servos are waterproof but uh, in my experience they are not so waterproof as advertised so i take my spare servo for this video i want to thank you for watching if you like my video leave a like if you want to see more of my videos especially how this trx behaves with trailing check out my next video and then I wish you happy trails and see you in my next video. Bye bye.